All right, Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Buanas to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lekman out there doing this work of faith and labor, of love, truth, sincerity. All right, and um, you know, I just want to come with a quick piece of edification, you know, that I came across in this article here from uh, IntelliHub. All right, and it says, um, moving towards the mark of the beast. Feds help fund implantable RFID device, right? So now, you know, this is on a federal level now. So the feds is dealing with this, all right? So it says RFID research further moves towards implanting chips in humans, all right? Uh, IntelliHub. For many, uh, for years, many within the alternative media have written about the danger to freedom posed by implantable RFID chips. From chips implanted into pets to chips used in humans to monitor their health, society has slowly been conditioned to accept implanted microchips as a useful science-based tool. And we can see different things, you know, that they're doing within the society to get people ready for the chip, you know. By what slowly but surely trying to make this a cash society, making everything, man, based off of, you know, using your debit or your credit card, you know, and you, know, you can do everything off of your phone now, you know, without having physical uh, money, you know, within your hand, you know, so they're trying to do everything by electronics to get the people, you know, uh, used to the, to accepting the RFID microchip, man, you know, because majority of people out there sleep, so they just look at this technology as like, oh, this is where the future is headed to, so, you know, I got to roll with the punches, you know, so that's how they uh, doing, you know, the slowly increment, the RFID chip, all right, so it says, now with funding, the National Science Foundation in collaboration with the National Research Foundation in Korea, researchers are attempting to create an implantable antenna for long-term patient monitoring. Antennas operating near or inside the human body, of course it will be inside, not near, are important for a number of applications including healthcare. Implantable medical devices such as cardiac pacemakers and retinal implants are a growing feature of modern healthcare. And implantable antennas for these devices are necessary to monitor battery level and device health to upload and download data used in patient monitoring and more. Okay, so by what these chips being in you, you know, they're going to be able to upload, download data, know everything about your body from the inside without them, you know, having to uh, physically uh, run any type of tests on you, man. Them putting you through them uh, cat scan machines and different things like this, you know, within the blink of an eye, the chip will be able to do that for you, you know. So this is the grant they've been issued, you know, to uh, uh, do this, uh, you know, project or whatever they want to call it, you know. Um, all right, it says award abstract, E A P S I ultra high frequency implantable antennas for healthcare applications. All right, you see what the amendment date, uh, May 21st, you know, award fellowship, okay, the start date, when they're going to start, they just basically got this through, and what the start date is, what, June 1st, okay, of this year, you know, which is in, what, uh, three, three, four days, I'm not sure how many days it is in this month, what, 30, 31, something like that, so what, three, four days, the end date, you know, May 31st, estimated, you know. Uh, see what they've been awarded so far as far as bread, but you know what different what because he's this guy, whoever he is, uh, Andrew Chrysler is the uh, principal investor. But we know it's going to be more devils going to be adding on to that once they see how uh, you know that thing develops. All right, so um, let me see if it's any more. It's not more information. I really want to get on that. All right, so heading back, uh, you know, to this article. Article. So this thing is about to start ASAP. All right, so it says, um, this project will create a UHF RFID tag antenna that can be inserted under the skin for a permanent application. Ultra high frequency RFID tag antennas are imprinted using conductive ink and have found increased applications due to advantages such as minimal cost, low maintenance, good tag read range, and ability to operate without an integrated battery. So it's the primary thing what it said, uh, advantages due to what? Minimal cost. That's why whoever, you know, this guy was, uh, going back into this part, or Andrew Chrysler only put 
or uh, five thousand seventy dollars into it because this is not costing them hardly anything, man. Because it's what is a minimal cost, you know, to use this thing and to keep them operating, man. Okay, low maintenance, good tag read range, and ability to operate with without an integrated battery. Now, why uh, are these devices not going to need a battery? You know, because uh, as I said in the previous lesson, you know that you know within our pineal gland, you know, we have that electricity. You know, so throughout our blood, we have that electricity. So basically, you are the battery. You know, well, those uh, people that are going to take this chip, going to be willing to, you know, sign up for this thing or the chip in general, you're going to be the people are going to be the battery. You know, so the the chip is going to operate based off of your lifeline, man. You know, you're the battery that's going to keep that chip rolling within you, man, to be able to track your movements, to be able to. So you can uh, upload and download data and check all your vital signs, so on and so forth. You're the battery, or you're going to be the battery to keep this thing charged up, you know. Those that, uh, you know, take the chip, all right. So it says, um, despite their potential use in long-term patient monitoring and wireless biometric tracking, there is limited research on UHF RFID for insertion in high-loss human body environments, all right. So going on, it says, um, it's like it was the next point that I wanted to get into. Um, yeah, a number for every item on the planet. Now I'm gonna skip some of this, but basically, you know what they get into, like how you have in um, different warehouses and things like that. You will have, they'll have uh, what is what the EPC, the electronic product code. You basically have like RFID tags on different items that get shipped to and fro from different warehouses so that the, the customer and the person that's shipping things to them can keep track of the product. So on all these different devices on the bottom of the crates that which they have, because I worked in a warehouse and they had the RFID tags in them, you know, to they, they keep the uh, product monitored. So that's basically how they want to do with you, all right? So, because what you're basically those that take the chip you're basically considered what product until the elite you're considered no better than what uh as it says in here what a pack of cigarettes you know an individual can of soda a light bulb a package of razors you know your cattle your sheeple you know so that's what the elite have planned they have what a number for every item on the planet because you're going to be considered uh, a item until the elites man you're going to be their property all right and it says, going on further down, uh, the ultimate goal is for RFID to create a physically linked world, okay, in which every item on the planet is numbered, identified, cataloged, and tracked. So what we already done, Issa already done this with us through what our social security cards, but that's not good enough, you know. So they got to do it through this RFID technology, the mark of the beast, all right. And the technology exists to make this a reality, described as a political rather than a technological problem. Creating a global system would involve negotiation between the consensus among different countries. So, what is all this world? What does all this uh, sound like to you? All right, supporters for aiming f are aiming for worldwide acceptance of the technologies needed to build the infrastructure within the next few years. So. What the different countries, the worldwide acceptance, physically linked world, you know, the ultimate goal. That's all talking about what? The new world order and what? Creating a global system. So this is all referring unto the new world order, you know? And, and, you know, just how it's set up at the top of the article, how they're preparing people, you know, to accept the RFID chip, you know, and with this being able to, this implantable device being able to use for people with cardiac pacemakers, retinal implants, and different healthcare devices, you know, they have the, the applications on, on our smartphones, man, for brothers that, you know, uh, had these smartphones, you know, the S5, and we got the S6 out now, which some brothers may have, you know, this is one of the devices that they're using to prep people to accept the RFID chip, this uh, uh, health app, basically, on the, on the Galaxy X5, all right, it says, uh, using the S health app, on the Samsung Galaxy X5, okay? It says, uh, Samsung has covered a lot of health 
and fitness basis on the Galaxy X5. Health and fitness has a big focus in the Samsung Galaxy X5, something we learned from the very moment it was introduced on stage. Samsung is making it easier to get involved in tracking your activity with your heart rate sensor on the back of the phone and the first party S Health application. S Health is a nice and easy way to pay more attention to your activity levels without the need for any wristbands or paying for any apps. Here's what it can do for you. Okay, so just looking at some of the things of which it can do, you know, um, you know, go further down. As a matter of fact, as you can see here, what uh, a pedometer. Well, if you're running, walking, it can track your steps, how many steps you took, and stuff like that. Um, you see here, what is the heart monitor? You can also look, uh, Slocker, you can also hook and support the accessories that will record the data for you and then feed it into the S Health. The app says Samsung accessories so it doesn't look so hot for your Fitbit right now. Heart, the heart rate monitor. So what you putting your little your finger to this thing is basically reading your heart, man. So this is already RFID type type of technology, you know, uh, within our phones, you know. So we all carry around with us RFID technology. It's just that you can't take the chip, you know. So uh, you got that, you know, and just you know this big diagram here just is showing you how they they track everything, you know. Uh, what it says, what the the exercise, your food, you know, what, uh, your sleep, your stress levels, you know, so on and so forth, man. So this is what these devils have in store and what they're about to push in the gear, you know, starting within a couple of days of June first, you know. So I just thought this article was a little edifying just to bring out, you know, to show, you know, that they're furthering their motion, you know, towards their new world order, you know, while we're trying to grow in the spirit and further towards our motion. Of uh, you know, accepting the time of Jacob's trouble and you know, Lord willing to inherit in the kingdom soon. So as Esau is trying to push forward for his so-called new world order, we're trying to push forward for our new world order, which is the kingdom, man. So, you know, with that, um, you know, I just hope this lesson was edifying. And um, you know, let me just uh I just grab, you know, the classic uh chip script, you know, as I call it. Classic chip script. Um, this is uh, Revelations 13 and 16. All right, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right, so, you know, once again, I hope this lesson was edifying. Know through the spread of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lekman out there doing this work of faith and labor, love, truth, sincerity. Shalom and death to America.